I've set myself a fascinating challenge. Here in Toulouse, I'm going to cook the classic Toulouse dish, the cassoulet. But I'm going to be cooking it for 15 really rough, tough boys for the most prestigious rugby club in France, Stade Toulousain. Bear with me. The essential thing for a cassoulet, apart from the preserved duck or goose, is, of course, the famous Toulouse sausage. Absolutely essential. The head man here, the, the butcher, is a bit tickled at the thought of an Englishman is going to sacrifice his beloved cassoulet. But we shall see. I'm pretty confident I can do it really rather well. And what better place to cook it than on the pitch itself? The players and the staff of Stade de Luzanne are going to be a very demanding audience for my cassoulet. I'll give you a quick run through the ingredients. White haricot beans, which I've been soaking in my bedroom in my hotel all night. Fresh parsley, fresh tomatoes, thyme, bay leaves, garlic, chopped up garlic there, chopped onions here, herb and pork sausages, wonderful pure pork sausages, and the famous Toulouse sausage. Then we also have preserved, you buy this in jars or in cans, preserved goose and duck, some crushed up fresh tomatoes, and finally, of course, the pieces of belly of pork. Now, this is a dish. This is a cowboy dish. This is pork and beans, but with a wonderful southwestern France flavor to it. First thing is some goose fat. First of all, we're going to chuck these pieces of pork in, fry all these bits of pork really nicely, get the fat out of them, because we need the fat to flavour all the other ingredients. One of which, of course, is a jolly good glass of local rosé. It comes from Fronton. Absolutely splendid. Now, as that begins to colour and go down, we add in a load of chopped onions, a load of garlic. This stuff has been kissed by the Southern French sunshine, full of flavour. That will take about 20 minutes to sweat down before I'm ready to add the rest of my ingredients. Right, next thing to go in is my chopped up tomatoes. Then a good sprig of thyme, a couple of bay leaves. Then dry local white wine. Then we've got to add some of the beans I had soaking in my hotel room overnight. Anyway, that's how things stand at the moment and are going to stay that way for the next, oh, probably two hours before I return to add the remaining ingredients. The sausages have already been fried for about 10 minutes and the locals will soon be arriving to see how I've coped with this Toulouse classic. Terrific. The beans are cooked, the pork is cooked, the flavours and the colours are sensational. Now it's simply a question of adding my already partly cooked Toulouse sausages. Then I'm going to add my pork and herb sausages. So they only need another about 20 minutes here in the sauce and in the pot. And on top, we're going to add the preserved goose and duck, which is completely cooked. Try and get those buried in. Now, for all that to warm through, absorb all the flavours, we put the lid back on for about 20 minutes. And, of course, you can get a full recipe for this classic French dish on our website. I always hate this bit when you've actually got to feed human beings as opposed to the camera. I think it's very good. The proof is that I've actually already eaten my lunch and was only planning to have a taste, but I'm eating the whole meal. Well, job done. I do believe they enjoyed it. Anyway, fed up with the apron, 
I'm off. Thank you. Bye.